Oh my god. No! I don't want anything else to get killed, so we gotta go ahead and kill this thing. Great, there's just tons of raptors right here. So now we have all of the Jurassic World raptors. We tamed them in the last episode. We got Blue, Charlie, Echo, and Delta. And um, we need a little a little enclosure for them or a paddock. I got to get used to saying that word. It's a strange word to me. I, I, I never knew that that's what these things would be called. Anyway, uh, so we're going to be starting work on our Jurassic World um, octagon paddock, which is basically seen in the movie, the first movie. Um, and yeah, it, it looks really cool. We're going to try to recreate it um, just as it looks in the movie, but it's going to be a little bit different, obviously, because... You know, this is Ark, and you can't make things look exactly the way that you want them to unless you make them look really big. And unfortunately, I couldn't get a perfect octagon. I could probably keep going and eventually get one, but this is just the way it's going to have to work uh, with the foundations kind of sticking out like that. So we got like a little octagon with little uh, corners sticking out of the each corner of the octagon. So it kind of sucks. Oh my god, what is happening? Interesting. I guess they have like a lightning storm thing on here. I'm not sure if I've seen this one before. Or have I? I don't think I have. Okay, so the sky's going black. Let's get going. Um, guys, make sure they hit the like button if you find yourself enjoying this one. Really just help me out, and I do appreciate it. And all right, let me just throw up a picture of what it should look like in the movie. So I'm going to just, yeah, right there. Okay. So basically, we got our stairs in the front, which is kind of going to be this side right here. Let's flip back to the screen. It's going to be this side right here, and then on to the right of it, we have like a little kind of cage part where you can get into it and that's going to be this side right over here and then obviously there's like a gate there to the left and that is going to be over here so um yeah that's that's pretty much all i got so far um i can see from the picture though the opposite side of the stairs of the octagon you can see it kind of leads out into like a forest. I'm not going to do that, mainly because it would have to lead off a cliff for me. But also, I kind of just want the one little enclosure. I don't want to have to make a giant area as well. So I feel like this is definitely good enough. But yeah, it looks like it leads off into a forest. And I think in the movie, you have the raptors like chasing a little pig at the very start. And I think that's kind of where they're coming from because the pen's really not that big. So that's probably where they're coming from anyway. So let's get work. Let's get work. Let's get going to work here. Uh, let's see. Um, so I'm just going to start on this side. I'm going to start to kind of build out the little uh, gate thingy. So let me go ahead and do that. And then we can remove all these. All right. So we're going to just start over here with the dynamic gate. Um, these are a feature in, in S plus, And it's essentially a gate that you can have at any shape or any size i mean within these parameters right here so it could be 12 wide uh 12 high and it can be a bunch of different materials so you got stone wood metal adobe and then tech and then that's it so i'm gonna go back down to metal because that's what we're gonna be using and i want it to be we're gonna go with uh five wide so that is five wide right now is that gonna be too big no that should be good enough and then i think i want it to be four high so it's pretty cool. I really like this stuff. I mean, it's extremely well done. So we're just going to hop off this ladder. And that ladder is basically centering me on these foundations up ahead here. So I'm going to put the gate like right there. Now we got to go ahead and see what it's going to cost to craft. So 500 metal, 100 cementic paste. All right, I got to go get that. And then we basically just deposit it into there. And then it just builds itself. And then we got to actually put on the door as well. So we'll do that after. I just got to go get these materials first. All right, so, oh my god, I dropped the walls because they're super heavy. Let's just drop them again. <laughs> so we got all the stuff to be able to build this up, and I just grabbed extra just in case. Let's see, so deposit, and there is our gate, and then we just got to put in the door now. So we want the door to be, um, what do we got? We got glass. I uh, don't really want to use that, though. Let's go back down to metal. So that's going to cost metal. How do we, there we go. Cool. All right, so that is completely made. Very awesome feature in S+. Plus. Probably one of the best uh, features that they ever actually added. Though I do believe that the gates are kind of a little bit susceptible to damage from different things, like because it's technically made out of crops and silica pearls, which is strange. But um, I don't know. It's, it's still pretty cool. So that's at least a little bit of a start here. We've got our gate. That's a good start. Uh, let's get going with some of the rest of the stuff, though. we got to start building out these walls a little bit. So we're going to obviously have them four walls high, and then we're going to have our little walkway around the very top of that. So I'm just going to build up some of these here, and then I'll bring you guys back. Okay, so let's see. 
I think this side is complete. Yeah, should be good enough. All right, so we got to start going with the actual stairway up. So we're going to go... Let's put this in the center and two up. And then this is going to go roughly the, there, I think. Right? Yeah, that's probably right. All right, so we're just going to go ahead and put some ramps down from here. Unfortunately, because of the stupid corner thing that I had to go with, it kind of intersects with it slightly, but we're just going to ignore that. I mean, it's fine. It doesn't really cause too many issues. It just kind of annoys me a little. Uh, we're actually just going to turn these into stairs now. Very nice feature in S plus as well. Um, let's go ahead and do that. Sweet. All right. So that brings us up to here. Um, I think now we can probably build up the outer wall completely and then put the ceilings down. So we're just going to put concrete ceilings completely around this whole thing, mirroring the foundations on the ground there. And then we'll be back because, I mean, that's a very tedious thing to do, and it's probably not very entertaining to watch. So, yeah, we'll be back in a minute. Okay, so I've gotten all of the walls up. Let's just go ahead and start going here with the railings. So we're just going to put railings on the stairs, and then we're pretty much just going to surround the whole upper level here with railings. I think it's looking pretty good so far. It's definitely... I don't know. I think it looks good. I'm just going to put a photo of the actual thing up on the screen here as well so you guys can see. Hopefully I remember to do that. There you go. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, no, looks pretty good so far. We've also got the little entrance over here for, like, the little cage type thing that we're going to build. But uh, I'm going to do that in a few minutes. First of all, we got to get going with some of this stuff. Now, this is where it kind of gets a little bit annoying and complicated. Unfortunately, because our our building here let me let me try it on a different corner am i gammed up i feel like it's super bright 1.5 there we go um so unfortunately because of the way that the actual building is we have like a little gap here and there's no way i could fill that with a snap point so i'm gonna probably have to add in some fence foundations along here and then put a a little railing up onto it but getting that all lined up is gonna be just a big pain so I don't know. That's that's going to be super annoying. Unfortunately, I don't think we'll be able to snap a pillar on anywhere here either. Um, and then also placing a pillar, it's probably not going to allow me to place it because of the way that everything is. Um, so that, that kind of sucks. But either way, um, we're going to work around it. <laughs> like most issues when you come into... Uh, to try to like build something like this you're gonna run into just tons and tons of issues so you gotta just work around them and i'm gonna find a way around it uh here is a bit of a bigger issue i suppose um there's gonna be like a massive gap here and i don't know how i'm gonna get a fence foundation to go from like there to there without screwing anything up so i don't know we're gonna deal with that later anyway this is something that i wanted to do here just to try and get like the very center um they have like this little walkway up on the center here let me show you so this is what i want to do i want to go like that and then i want to place that there because i need them to be snapped off of this side um it's kind of like i don't know it's it's kind of hard to explain just building stuff just trust me so i'm gonna do that and then i'm gonna remove these two and then i'm gonna go like this and now we're gonna have to build this out into the center and we're gonna have to do that eight times but we're only gonna be keeping four of them and this one right here is not one of them actually i thought that one there was going to be one of them this one right here will be one of them so as you can see like in the photo the walkways pretty much just go right into the center but i'm gonna need to do it from every side because i need uh the very center piece to kind of have like this <sighs> let me let me just get it done and i can kind of show you it's it's a little bit hard to explain but the shape of the very center needs to be kind of like a circle so let me build these out into the center roughly. Uh, can I snap onto that one over there or am I too far? Let's just snap onto there and then do it from there. Cool. We can remove this now. So basically the very center is going to be pretty much like right here. Uh, but we need this snap point right here to place a railing onto. Um, let me remove those because... Oh, hang on. Let me remove that really quick. We're making a real mess of things here. Basically, yeah, we're going to have a walkway going along here, and then we need just that side piece right there. We're going to have another one there, another one over there and there, and it's going to look cool once it's done. But it's kind of hard to explain and show it off properly without it actually being done. So I guess I'll probably work on this next and then put up all the railings because there's a lot of railings that need to be going up. So this is basically what I was talking about. We just got to remove this. We got to remove this line of 
ceilings and then it should be pretty much done the little catwalk type thing um we also got to pop railings onto them as well uh but we can do that after so yeah right here and last railing bam so yeah i think that looks pretty good considering um <laughs> It's actually really nice the way that it all worked out the way I can just come over with some ceilings and then get one placed here to just kind of fill in this little gap uh, It's much better than trying to like mesh a bunch of sh ceilings here in the center uh, We have also got this little hole which you cannot fall through but I think I might just keep it there anyway I don't really see the issue. Maybe we could drop like some food down there or something. They might they might be kind of hungry Anyway, um, so I got to place railings pretty much everywhere here. There needs to be like 10,000 railings up here so I'm gonna get going with that and then I'll bring you guys back after I've done that. So we are back and we've got all the railings in place now. Let's head on up here. Um, one thing I wanna do is I wanna add some pillars coming down from the very center. So I guess we could do that now here in a second. Uh, just kind of judging by the photo, I think I know where I need to be putting them. Anyway, so uh, I've gotten like the little kind of fence foundations in here. It's not perfect, but it will do. I mean, I, I could spend ages trying to get it to look absolutely perfect, but realistically, you're not even really going to notice it too well. Um, so yeah, some of them are a little bit misaligned, but whatever. Okay, I just need to, I need to ignore these things sometimes. It's not that important. It's, it's kind of important, but shut up, okay? <laughs> anyway, uh, let's, uh, let's get down here. I really quickly want to see if I can maybe place some, um, some ramps right here. Let me see if I can do this. I might be able to place it from there. Yes. I was thinking I might get some like some little kind of like support pieces here because on the sides of the picture, you can kind of see that there's like these little um, support beams coming from like a little bit on the catwalk down into the wall. So I was thinking I could do that. I got to turn them into ramps, but I guess I can use the gun to do that. Um, so I'll just leave that there like that for the moment. Let's go ahead and put this right here. Can we do it? There we go. Cool. So I can only really put that on the two sides, I would say. Although I might be able to get one over there too. Yeah, I could probably get one over there. So let me see. Can I do it? Oh yeah, I can do it without removing the railing. All right. Uh, yeah, I definitely can't do it over there though because of the gate. So let's get going over here and we can place this one. And then I want to place some pillars going up along the wall on the sides that I can put it on. So not this side, unfortunately, but we can put them over here. So... Um, plus when you're looking into the pen, you're mostly not going to be looking this way. You're going to be looking from that side in this way. So it might not even be that noticeable. Let's see like that. And then one going down like that. All right, cool. And then over here as well. And then I'll, I'll go ahead and turn those into the rail or the ramps at some point. No, not ramps stairs. There we go. Words. Um, okay. Bam. Oh, yeah. I don't think that messed up anything. I think we're good. All right, so here's what I want to do. I want to get the support beams coming down like this on these ceilings. So that's the ones that were kind of come out from this side. Um, so I think that would look pretty nice. Bam. Got to just be a little bit careful about the placement when we're coming down here. I might end up uh, snapping into a pillar that's already there, or that can happen. Um, let's do it from here next. Oh, there we go. Is it? I thought it was like messing up. Sometimes pillars get really buggy and glitchy in this game, and it's kind of annoying, but it looks like today might be okay. I am one pillar short. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, I gotta go make one at some point, but we'll fill that in, and um, I might have to move these raptors slightly. Uh, we'll probably just put them over here for the moment. We will, of course, be putting a bunch of greenery in here as well, uh, but by the way, this is what the gate looks like from the other side. Pretty cool. I like the way that there's a little bit of a gap at the top as well. That looks nice. Let's just go ahead and close that. We can also actually change the, uh, the thickness of this gate. So let's maybe do that a little bit. Let's uh, bulk it up just slightly. Yeah, that looks a lot better actually. Um, is there anything else I could do? Um, oh, I think I can increase the thickness of the pillar as well. Huh. Yeah, that looks cool actually. We should leave it like that. Yeah, I like that. Okay, cool. So let me grab my Tyranodon and just take like a little bit of an aerial shot of this. Um, we got to go ahead and start working on like the little cage area. Um, I'm still kind of thinking how I should actually do that. It's got like another ramp up around it, by the way, which I haven't really 
took into consideration so i gotta prepare to do that where is he there we go Cy cyanodon there we go all right come on buddy let's get on over here so all in all i think it looks pretty good so far yeah definitely looks like the movie one i mean bam there's the photo from the movie yeah i think i think we're doing a pretty good job here so far um a couple little things i gotta be fixing though and then we'll prepare to do this area here okay so right now we're just kind of working on like the cage area um let me let me see eh, there we go and then another one and then probably another one hmm yeah there's like a stairway that kind of comes down in around there beside the cage i feel like our cage is gonna have to either be really long or we're just gonna have to kind of change up the side bit and i'd rather change up the side bit so i think that's what we're gonna do um so then we're gonna go like that and then like this bam bam i think that's what we're gonna do instead um instead of like having having it the exact same i'm just gonna do this because just the way that the ramps kind of work and everything you know they need to come out by one uh foundation uh to actually go down by one and i needed to go down by around three ish so yeah just kind of worked out this way anyway you know what we could probably put in some little ceilings here as like a little bit of like uh uh oh that snapped differently as like a little uh, viewing area which i think is basically what this little spot is supposed to be uh it kind of looks like a little bit of a viewing area into this cage area or something i don't know so maybe we'll just add some railings along here to kind of make that look normal. And then we got to obviously put some railings on the stairway. So bam, bam, bam. And then we'll just do these ones here. Um, and we got to turn these into stairs too. Okay. Uh, and then one here. Is that right? I think that's good enough. All right. So uh, essentially on this little cage spot, we're going to have to have, let me see gonna have to have some ramps going like this i gotta snap one on the bottom to snap it up there unfortunately because they're not just gonna snap upwards like that so i gotta snap them like that come on oh my god it didn't do it right damn it just do it right please okay here let's see and then up there and then we can remove these now and we're gonna turn these into stairs all right cool so i think that's what the little cage is gonna look like we're gonna do another one here of course so let's see um number two or number three even and like that and then we'll take this away and i think oh wait no i meant to take that away i think i actually forgot to put the railings onto the stairs right here okay cool uh i gotta build up this little cage a little bit more so bam like that probably gonna have to have Hmm. Maybe I'll just leave it open or something up there. I don't know. I think I'll just leave it open because I was about to say we're going to have to have like sloped walls or something, but I think that would kind of ruin the look of it. So maybe I'll just go like that and have like this little gap right here. I don't really think that causes too many issues. Oh, you know what? No, we could do this. Yes. Yes, that looks good. All right, that's good. Okay, cool. Uh, So we're going to obviously have to do the same thing over here. I might need another ramp although i guess i can borrow it from over there wait no i should be able to actually do this without needing another one so bam bam oh and then we can go ahead and just take these ones and then like that okay where's the model selector gun okay and then we're gonna take these away Alrighty. um now let's just put some ceilings let's do them from this side just some ceilings up top nothing crazy and i think that's the cage pretty much mostly done let's just go ahead and snap that one on there can i get another one on i don't think i can yeah that doesn't look too bad all right cool so let's just pop this door on here and there we go um so it looks okay it's not identical obviously to the movie but it's the best i could do with arc stuff i think if you have any suggestions for this let me know because you guys gave me some good suggestions for the original raptor pen uh so obviously if you can spot something that could be done a little bit better let me know of course and i will try to take a look at it um maybe over here we should build this down 
just to make it look a little bit more like the movie. Hmm. We could probably we could probably just build all of this down here. I'm gonna need one there. I'm gonna need a couple more walls, but I can obviously just build those walls down into the dirt, make it look like it's an actual structure piece. So that's our other way up along with that other stairs over there. And we've got our little cage mostly done. Uh, we can obviously go inside of the cage and then that can lead us into the raptor pen. And all in all, I think this is almost done. We obviously just need to be doing the inside here and then I think we're, I think we're done. I'm just looking at the photo, trying to figure out anything else I can do. There's a couple little barrels around. I could probably, I know there's an oil barrel thing that I can make. I could probably build a couple of those. I'm going to take these off of automatic because I hate automatic mode. And I know there is a server setting that I could just set them to, to take automatic off of the, as like the default, but I keep forgetting to do that. So maybe I'll do that at some stage. Oh, by the way, I also added in this thing here because it kind of looks like the gate lifts up or something. So I made it kind of similar-ish. I wonder if I change the thickness of the pillars. Does that make it look better? It looks misaligned now. I think having them thicker would be a little bit better. Yeah, that looks cool. All right. Oh, um, we also added the lights up here as well. Uh, did I do anything else? I can't even remember. I don't think I did. I think that's pretty much it. So you know what? Let me let's quickly just get like a little aerial shot going here on the, the Pteranodon. Give me more food. All right. So yeah. I think we did a good job. I hope. <laughs> um, we just need to figure out that whole situation over there. Put all those walls down. Um, the cage is looking good. Best it can look, I guess. Um, yeah, we did a good job for sure. Huh. Alrighty, so I think I want to go ahead and maybe get some plants and stuff to like fill in the inside. And then maybe a couple little barrels, like I said. Yeah, all right, well, we will be back in a few minutes. All right, so I've got a crap ton of different uh, plants and rocks and trees and everything. So we're gonna just decorate the inside here and hopefully it's gonna look pretty good. So we've got a little bit of grass here to begin with, but I think, I don't know if I'm gonna put too many things over here. I want most of the greenery to be back here kind of covering up this rock. Uh, we're gonna have to just dump tons of stuff in here because all this stuff's super heavy, so. Let me see. Let's start off with the rocks. I feel like that would be the best thing to start with just because they're kind of the biggest things and we can kind of position them around and then figure out where the trees are going to go. All right. So what are these ones like? Ooh, that's cool. Actually, maybe we'll put a couple. Oh, you're still following me, aren't you? Unfollow. Maybe we'll put a couple of these like out front over here. That could look nice. Um, and then just a few back here, maybe. Just randomly around the place. That actually really breaks up this ground right here. Hmm. All right. So then we've got... Oh, my God. These are much smaller than I thought. Okay. Um. Let's just kind of place these randomly around then. Yeah. That's fine. Uh, you can't hardly even see them as well. Great. I didn't think those would be that small. Oh, wow. This is a big one. Okay. Let's put this one maybe like back here. We don't want it too close to the wall, actually, because then the raptors might be able to climb out. What's this one like? Oh, that one there is cool. Let's put that one back here. You wouldn't really put a rock like that near a gate because then they could hide behind it and bum rush you at the gate. Um, and then we've got this one right here, which can probably go maybe like here. Cool. All right. So that's probably enough rocks at the moment. Maybe I'll add some more at some point. I don't know. Uh, I, I'm... A little bit confused about some of them because like I thought that these ones here would be much bigger but obviously they're not so yeah let's see so we've got tons of plants but they're on side of cyanodon all right let's start out with the trees so let me type in tree uh tree and let's just take all those out first so just pop those onto the hot bar oh crap uh bam let's get out of there I just want to pop these onto my hot bar uh, we can kind of figure things out then. All right. Oh, those are a lot bigger than I thought. Let's put some of these back here, maybe. Um, okay. Maybe like that. A couple, like a little cluster of them. Oh my God, that one's way too big. No, <laughs> there's no way we're using that one. Oh, wow. So that's the one that we used originally. Then we got this one here, a little bit of a smaller one. Those are cool. Uh, oh, we've got a couple of different types of the ones here. We've got these other little small ones 
We just kind of want to spread them out just a little bit, not cluster them up a huge amount, but maybe some of the smaller ones can be together. So let's do that. And we've got this. Uh, maybe let's place that right beside the rock. Okay. And then, oh my God. Dude, that thing's gigantic. I don't want that in here, but that's cool. I'll probably use those somewhere else. Um, let's add some more trees over here. And we've got... Oh, I don't want that one. Okay, so we've got limited uh, choices on the trees here. I could probably craft more, but... Might be a bit of a headache trying to actually make this all look perfect with these trees. Let's place one of these right here, though. Okay, cool. It's going to look a lot better once all the plants are in, trust me. Uh, so... Let's go ahead and just drop all those and then drop these into the Tyranodon and grab that baggie. Give me... I can't carry all that, can I? Oh my god, this stuff is so heavy. Alright, let's see. What can I put back here? Let's put that back, that, and that. Okay, are we good? We can kind of move. Alright, so I've got bamboo, which is cool. I really liked having that in the last enclosure. Um, so where's the bamboo? This is it right here. It's really nice, actually. This is probably one of my favorite things to use. So let's kind of put that around the trees a little bit. Just to kind of make it look a little bit more, I don't know, filled in or something. I don't know. Looks good. Uh, let's put some of those out front here, maybe. Okay. We just want to spread them out a good amount. Maybe I'll put that in the very center here, actually. That looks good. You'd want to make it look a little bit more natural in here for the raptors anyway. So we'll do that. And then we've got a bunch of these big leaf plants. What are these ones called? Banana plants, maybe? I don't know what they're called. Yeah, banana plant. All right, cool. So these are quite big, so maybe not too many of those, but we'll put some over here maybe. We can actually put these close to the wall because it's okay if they clip through the wall. They're not going to clip through the outer wall, just the inner wall, which is fine. Um, so we want it to look very, uh, very filled in back here. Let's see. Um, yeah, that's looking good so far. All right, so let's try and add in some different ones here. Those are nice. What's this one look like? Oh my god, this one's gigantic. Oh wow, okay, I like that. Let's add that in right there. Um, again, just, just chaos just tons and tons of these everywhere uh not really too much organization you just gotta look at make it look oh my god no you gotta make it look very filled in and everything what the hell there's a raptor inside of my base and whiteout just got killed i don't want anything else to get killed so we gotta go ahead and kill this thing we gotta whistle neutral probably kill it oh my god what is that outside my base i did not mean to leave this open White House dead, no. Wait, what the what's actually there? Oh. Great, there's just tons of raptors right here. Ah, that's annoying. White out, no. Oh, you were so young. Damn it. <laughs> that sucks. Well, they could have easily killed all these other creatures. Look. Gordon Ramsay was about to die. Damn it! At least my little guys didn't die here. Stupid raptors, though. What level are you guys? 102? Screw you. All right, we'll deal with those things later. They can't get in. Don't worry. I shouldn't have let my freaking gate open, though. That was so annoying. Ugh, that sucks. All right. Well, it is what it is. I have creatures on passive just because I don't want everything freaking out. Um. So, yeah, let's get back to this. That sucks, though. Uh. All right. What was I doing? Oh, yes. Um try and figure out let's just add in a couple of these smaller ones out front here maybe like right around here a couple like this maybe just around the edges a little bit um maybe over here um let's see we got one of the bigger ones put that there gotta just kind of cover up most of this here um and then we've got oh these ones are small okay Let's just do like a little bed of these right here. Okay. Just kind of spam them because it kind of looks like grass. It looks cool. Um, What are these? Oh, these are the big redwoods one. Oh, is that going to place? There we go. All right. Yeah, this is going to cover up quite a lot of the ground, which is good. 
go ahead and just place in a bunch of those and get a couple placed in around the place here. How's that look? Very, very natural. Needs more smaller plants though, I think. So we'll just get a couple of these placed around the place. I keep saying place, 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 place. All right. Uh, how's that looking? Hmm. Need some more stuff over here, I would say. Um, let's see. Where can I put one of these? Let's put this one like right here. Yeah, that looks good. Nice. Uh, what else do I have? I've got one more of these. A couple of these. Let's just kind of fill in large gaps with them. And right there. And we've got one of the bigger ones. What is this one? Okay, yeah. Hmm. Need to fill in over here a little bit more. It's just not good enough. Yeah, that looks good, actually. It kind of hangs over the little grass bed thing that I made. Um, and then right there, we've got a couple more plants inside of the raptor. Or inside of this uh, Trinodon. I'm just thinking about my raptor that died, unfortunately. Um, the umbrella one that needs to go back. Oh, we also have all of these. Oh my god, we have so many. Yeah, this is going to look good. It's going to look great once it's fully done. We also got... Oh, I liked this one, actually. Yes, I like that one. That one actually will help us fill out little uh, rocky areas like this. Yeah. Place this here. This is a really good mod, by the way. This, in, in case you didn't realize, this is the eco uh, tree mod. And it adds in just pretty much every single tree and plant from Ark as a placeable structure, which is cool. I don't know if creatures can damage them, by the way, so... I don't want to figure that one out, but, um, yeah. <laughs> These ones here are nice. These could, like, go around the rock and look pretty cool. Just, like, a little bit of plant life around the rock. Uh, there we go. That looks nice, actually. Um, we can probably place some, like, over here, maybe. cool um and then maybe let's try something different over here maybe one of these all right uh let's kind of fill in some here as well we don't want to fill it in too much like i said you wouldn't really fill in the area around gates a huge amount but it's just looking a little bit bare need some more stuff like right here um let's try oh these are tiny I'm not sure if I want to bother putting too many of those in. Yeah. This is looking really wild and cool. Um, I'll probably use, a, like, every single one of these uh, little plants that I have. It actually looks really nice if you place them at a, the end of a tree right there. That looks cool. Um, got these ones. Very nice. Uh, let's put... Let's see. Let me just fly up for a second. Let's take a little look at this. It's looking good. Uh, over here needs more tall things, though, I, f I think. So maybe let's grab... Let's grab this and put this, like, right here. A little bit close to the wall, but whatever. And... Just pop down a bunch of these. Maybe a couple of these to kind of... Break it up a little bit. And there. Okay. Hmm. We've got a couple more of these ones here. The tiny bushes. So let's just scatter them all over the place. Just randomly. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> I can't even see anymore. Oh, do we use them all? I think we did. And we've got that there. Let's just waste the rest of these, so bam. All right, cool. So let me see. How is this pen looking? Very, very nice. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, that's good. The trees are sticking up a little high, but that's okay. I think it, it looks good either way. Um, yeah, no, I like that. I like that a lot, actually. Damn, we did a good job, I think. I don't know. What do you guys think about this? Um, I think that there's definitely enough greenery for sure. You can hardly even see the rock underneath that, which is great. 
that's really what I'm looking for. You know what? I'm just going to turn it to daytime just because I want it to be bright. Okay, there we go. Okay, yeah, no, that looks good. That looks great. Be cool if you could have, like, vines coming down the walls or something. I don't know if that's a thing I could add. Although, it's really not supposed to look run down, though, and I feel like they'd probably take the vines away. Because then the raptors might be able to use the vines to get up the walls. Hmm. I don't know. Uh... But yeah, I think, I think I did a pretty good job. What do you guys think about this? Let me know down below. Um, yeah, I think it's, I think it's pretty much done. Awesome. So yeah, guys, if you have enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to see more like this, you can, of course, subscribe. We're going to watch out as we get in here. Let's check out Blue and the others. So they are right over here. Oh, I can hardly even see them. There we go. We got Blue. I think all the other ones are on follow. Let's bring them over here. We got to take off their saddles because this is where they live now. Oh, you know what? Give me all that goodness there. Sweet. So there's blue. Let's take the saddles off of all the other guys here. Charlie. And this is Echo. And we already did Delta. All right, sweet. So I'm not going to put them on Wander, by the way, because if I put them on Wander and I leave the area and come back, they could easily phase through the walls. It's a thing, by the way. Because creatures on Wander are constantly loaded in. Um, and then if you come into the area, the structures aren't loaded in, but the creatures are loaded in. And they can just walk right through the walls. It's happened to me before. Don't recommend it. So I'm just going to leave them there. I could probably put in a dino leash, but it really doesn't bother me too much. I kind of like looking in and being able to see where they are. Let's go up here really quick and just take a little look. So you can see them down there. <laughs> oh man, this is awesome. So yeah, that's it for today, guys. And I'll catch you in the next one.